The controversial trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard has not only gone viral, but it was also one of the most controversial and dramatic trials of this century. So much so that you'll even remember that it was televised and broadcast on various platforms. Well, after the verdict, and after Johnny Depp won nothing more and nothing less than $15 million, it seems that things for actress Amber Heard are only going from bad to worse. And why do we say this? Well, apparently the actress doesn't have the money to pay her ex-husband. So there have been speculations of new movies, a book, and even the rumor that the actress had opened an OnlyFans account, all in the desperate search to get the huge amount that she now has to pay her ex-husband. However, there are strong rumors that the actress has asked for the support of her former partner, Elon Musk. And of course, the millionaire businessman could help her without any problem with his enormous fortune. But will he? Stick around for all the gossip, drama, and juicy details. Elaine Bredehoft, Hurt's lawyer, stated on NBC's Today Show that the actress absolutely cannot pay Depp. According to New York Post sources, Hurt's legal fees have left her broke and she is struggling after a lavish spending on travel, clothes, gifts, and wine. According to the Post, Hurd was forced to rely heavily on her homeowner's insurance policy to cover the cost of her legal team in the case. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Hurd is estimated to be $6 million in debt. Depp, 58, sued Hurd, 36, for $50 million, accusing her of slandering him in a Washington Post op-ed in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. The three-time Oscar nominee claimed her article ruined his career and resulted in the cancellation of several film projects, including a sixth Pirates of the Caribbean film. After the star's former lawyer called her allegations a hoax, Hurd responded with her own $100 million counterclaim. Both accused the other of destroying their careers. This week, a Virginia jury ruled in Depp's favor, agreeing that Hurd's 2018 op-ed defamed him and ruined his career. The star of Edward Scissorhands was awarded $15 million. At the same time, the jury determined that Depp, through his former lawyer, Adam Waldman, libeled Heard in one of her countersuit's three counts and awarded her $2 million. Heard testified during the six-week trial that her career had stalled after Depp accused her of abuse. She was paid $1 million for the first Aquaman film and $2 million for the sequel. But she claims that a social media campaign to remove her from the franchise resulted in a very pared-down version of that role. I was given a script and then given new versions of the script that had taken away scenes that had action in it, she said. That depicted my character and another character fighting with one another. They basically took a bunch out of my role. Heard also claimed that she was fired from her position as L'Oreal spokesperson and received only $65,000 for an independent film she shot in March of this year. By June, a petition calling for Heard's removal from Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom had 4.5 million signatures. Catherine Arnold, an entertainment industry consultant, compared Heard's career to that of stars like Gal Gadot and Zendaya, claiming she lost millions of dollars from lost TV and film projects. Arnold revealed that she was considered for Michael Bay's Ambulance and a Prime Video series with Gail Garcia Bernal. Her appearance in Aquaman 2 is limited to a few scenes near the beginning and end of the film. After her divorce from Depp was finalized in 2016, Heard stated that she received $7 million in the divorce and that all $7 million was going to be donated. The funds were to be divided between the American Civil Liberties Union and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. However, Terrence Doherty, the ACLU's chief operating officer, stated that as of December 2021, the organization had only received $1.3 million in her name. Doherty stated that when the ACLU contacted her about future donations, they learned she was having financial difficulties. A representative for Children's Hospital Los Angeles stated that Heard has only ever given the organization $250,000 in cash. Breda Hoft said, Heard has always said she fully intends to continue to give the full $7 million, but she can't do it yet. She will do it when she can, but she has given a significant amount. When she took the stand, Hurt stated that she couldn't fulfill her promise because Depp had sued her, but she still intended to donate the full amount. I would love him to stop suing me so I can, she said. According to Virginia lawyer Jeremiah Denton, Depp could garnish her wages and get to her assets, sell them, and take cash. Hurt's representative said they had no comment on the reports that she was arrested. 
However, although Amber and her legal team have not officially declared that she's bankrupt, the rumors of the actress's plans to get the money she owes Johnny Depp simply have not stopped. Well, now they suggest that the actress has opened an OnlyFans account. The economic problems that the actress is going through have unleashed a wave of rumors, one of which claims that Hurt created her OnlyFans account to be able to pay Johnny Depp. TikTok user AmitReacts21 said in a video he posted that Amber Heard has done the impossible, referring to the creation of her OnlyFans account. The clip reached 12 million views, and he subsequently deleted it. Started an OF account, and guess what the registration fee is? Six million dollars. Also, guess who supports this initiative? Travis Scott, he added. This publication unleashed a wave of rumors, and the Newsweek site took on the task of investigating whether what the TikTok user said was true. But unfortunately for many, it was all a joke, and the actress did not open an account on the platform. Another rumor has been that of a book to be able to pay the actor. Amber Heard and her lawyers have both given televised interviews about the defamation verdict in the weeks since it was announced. While they maintain that unused evidence would have changed the outcome, the public has been wondering what the Aquaman actress will do next. According to OK Magazine, she may be considering writing a memoir. An unnamed source close to Amber Heard's camp was cited by the publication. They claim that the tell-all book will be released as a result of Johnny Depp's legal defeat. They put it this way, Amber considers her career in Hollywood over. She's already in talks and is excited about it. At this point, she has nothing to lose and wants to tell all. Amber Heard may be motivated to embark on such an adventure because she owes Johnny Depp $10 million, plus legal fees. Her lawyer stated on the record that Heard did not have the financial means to pay that amount, so perhaps a tell-all book is one way for her to get her head above water, so long as it doesn't lead to more legal problems. However, even if this were true, we are aware that a project like this could take months and even years, and the actress has limited time to be able to pay Johnny. So the third and last option is nothing more and nothing less than the billionaire businessman Elon Musk. Of course, it is her ex, but it seems that the actress is looking for desperate solutions to a desperate situation. Well, close sources have assured that the actress is not only requesting the support of the businessman, but that she is demanding it. Amber has compromising information that could embarrass Elon Musk, or at least give him a hard time, so she is demanding Elon's support in order to pay off her lawsuit debt to Johnny Depp, a source said. What intrigues everyone is, what compromising information does Amber have about Elon? Maybe some sexy photos? Or is it something serious? Recall that the couple had a love relationship a few years ago, just when the actress ended her relationship with actor Johnny Depp. However, it was not a very long relationship, but the businessman did say in some interviews that the breakup had happened because of their conflicting schedules. They've also said that they are now friends and have a cordial relationship. Although no more information has been released and Elon or Amber have not come out to comment on it, several sources confirmed the contact between the businessman and the actress, so we don't have much doubt that something is cooking between them. Do you think Elon will help her pay off her debt? Do you think he should? Or what other options do you think Amber has to get the $15 million plus? Leave us your comments and theories below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news from your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.